The impacts of these attacks are widespread, and here at home, the local Jewish community says they're banding together. Ten News reporter Abby Coleman is live from the newsroom tonight. And Abby, what more can you tell us about the reaction here in Roanoke? In the middle of the shock and the heartbreak, the Jewish community tells me they're relying on each other and their faith to see them through. People are coming together in the wake of the attacks on Israel. In Blacksburg, the Jewish population at Virginia Tech is standing strong. Noah Benita is the president of Hokies for Israel and tells me she was up through the night. Initially, I, of course, was scared because I have family in Israel. So I ended up communicating with them all night. I was up until 5 a.m. making sure that they are safe. Benita says she grew up in an Israeli household and was looking for community at Virginia Tech with Hokies for Israel. And our mission is that we support Israel's rights to exist. Hokies for Israel alongside Hillel at Virginia Tech, another Jewish organization on campus that Benita is a member of, wants to help students through the news of the attacks. So right now, our main, um, I guess, step to kind of get together and show support and help our students feel supported is just kind of sharing resources. Hillel at Virginia Tech shared this post on social media after the attack Saturday. It says in part, in this difficult moment, we are praying for the safety and security of all our colleagues, family members, friends, partners, and all Israelis. Benita says she continues to worry for her family in Israel. And unfortunately, I found out that some of them were either being called into the reserves to go fight for the war, or they are locking their doors, hiding in their homes, or in shelters, um, bomb shelters, uh, protecting themselves. Benita tells me the biggest thing people can do to help their Jewish peers is to be educated. I'm encouraging them to stand up for Israel and, you know, make that statement that they are supporting Israel. And then another one, in my opinion, would be to make sure that they are spreading the information. I spoke with several synagogues across Roanoke and Blacksburg today, and they tell me that they're asking for prayers of peace for Israel. In the newsroom, Abby Coleman, 10 News, working for you.